Yeah, hello and welcome back to the AOR PC GT3 uh, Project Cars Elite League and uh, yeah. As you can see we are driving around Road America or as you probably don't know because this track isn't too familiar I guess. Um, yeah, um, I'm still driving in my Z Z um, BMW Z4 and uh, this track isn't the best for the Z4 in my opinion because we can already see it has pretty long straights, in fact two pretty long straights, um, the start finish straight and the straight. But also, um, as you can see we are driving in the rain which uh, helps us a little bit because our car is I think one of the best in the rain. Um, yeah, maybe the Porsche is a little bit better because it has more mechanical grip than the Z4 or yeah, pretty similar mechanical grip and um, yeah both cars are pretty good in the rain because of that and um, yeah because of other points the Bentley and probably the, Mer uh, the Mercedes AMG and all the um, yeah all the big cars with a yeah huge engine are not that good in the, in the rain I guess and we are still on our outlap, we are in qualifying already and as you can see at the to um, bottom left we have 3 minutes and 35 seconds um, remaining so there will be one more chance for us, this will be my last step and also my quickest at the moment we are in P8 which isn't too bad with a 1 minute 12.7 no, 0 0.5 112.5 and now into the last corner now we can see the long straight in front of us, the start finish straight. I wasn't uh, happy with my lap uh, until this point because in practice I could drive uh, 12 zero, so half a se second would have been uh, possible to go quicker. Now we are braking for turn 1. I really like uh, both of the first turns, especially the first one where you can throw the car in. And now the second turn breaking about the two meter uh, two meter about about the two board um, on the left hand side and now the second long straight on this track we are aiming for a height 47 in the first sector you can see that on the top right uh, in the hut and now breaking just after the three board down to second gear. Many other decided to go down in first, but I decided to go down in second because it's uh, more stable. And we actually did our PB in the first sector, 47.7. Really impressive already. As you can see, three and a half tenths up. This wasn't quite perfect. And now into this left hander. Again, hitting the apex nicely in no type of oversteer into the carousel this is how this long corner is called and this wasn't optimal I have to say as well a little bit late on the throttle so we lost about two tenths in the carousel but now into this section I really love it this kink and now the next braking zone I really like uh, yeah, this part of the track Breaking at the far a lot of motor brake as uh, or engine brake as uh, yeah in quality there will be no um, yeah damage to the engine or the gearbox in the ra in the race we have to be more patient now braking after the second board and on to the start from the straight it's really looking promising I did a mistake in my previous lap in the last turn. And now we are almost 8 tenths up, which is our personal best, although we did the mistake in the carousel, and that's a 211.7, which puts us up into P5. And this is the standings, Kaki with a really, really impressive lap in front of Gronstein uh, Klaasens, who is called Xenon in the forum. Yeah, both uh, in the Z4 and then Tony are in P4, he's driving the McLaren, then me in P5, Knuma in P6, so... Yeah, three German guys in P4 and P6, then Wycombs in P7, really close behind Kanuma. 
Dinas finally got his wheel working again and in P8, Hideaki, another pet driver in P9, Rhaegor P10, Tipple 11, Puff Pirate in 12, Nostra in P13, Mini Black just in P14, Freda the other pet driver in P15 and today in 16th place, yeah. Then Blue Rat, Centro AJ, Ramibu, Ginetta, uh, Dangerous Ginetta beating Brownski with the same time and then one thousandth of a second behind that is Maisie and Andrex as well at the back of the field. Both the M3, so they are really struggling without their ABS. And then Martin van der Band and Silver Arrow rounding out the field and Papand and Jellyfish not attending. So we were 26 drivers for this race, which is a whole lot and um, now we are jumping into the race. The who rejoined, rejoined wow, I'm on sixth. And uh, yeah, this will be a really, really uh, tough race because um, yeah, yeah quality the visibility was good, of course, because uh, yeah, we could leave a gap to the car in front. But in the race, you can't just leave a gap to the car in front. And now, Kaki is slowly moving to the front. We are joining behind Tony R. So I was really, really happy with qu qualifying, uh, yeah, although doing a slight mistake, um, I mean in the rain it's never easy, although in Project Cars the grip in the rain is pretty impressive I have to say, just uh, around about 8 seconds slower than uh, dry pace. Don't forget your headlights, please. So that's a bit unrealistic, but um, yeah, I like driving in the rain this game. And now we are jumping to the end of the formation lap. We are already in our formation. You can see the Z force in front of us and Tony are on our left side, who should be um, side by side with Klaasens actually. So there he is, trying to get closer to Gronstra. Ties is up pretty cool because this is a quite long track around uh, yeah, 4.2 miles or around six and a half kilometers Whoa. which is pretty long you can see we almost took three yeah. minutes and 45 seconds for the formation lap and now Kaki is deciding to put the throttle down the race begins we had a bad start I have to say Kanuma already alongside us but that's, that was as expected he has a Aston Martin with a superior top speed compared to our Z4 so yeah that was pretty much expected Still in P6, and now, yeah, we are lifting a little bit because I don't want to go side by side with Kanuma, the championship leader. So, of course, me in my second race, uh, with lots of incidents in the first race in the Elite League, of course, I want to be careful and uh, not, um, yeah, crash into the championship leader in this stage of the race. And now you can see the uh -huh. visibility isn't too bad, but uh, yeah, it's definitely worse than in qualifying. And I can't imagine uh, how Wycombs, uh, for example, who's driving in the cockpit cam um, and in the Bentley, which has a pretty poor visibility already, um, yeah, is to drive in the rain because he won't see much. He just will, uh, I guess, he just saw our braking lights when we were braking or. Our lights, uh, yeah, at all, and the rest was, uh, yeah, blind for him. But uh, yeah, we are uh, staying in P6. We lost one position. Kanuma gained two positions, and Tony R uh, as well with an impressive start from P4 to P2. So yeah, as you can see, the Z4s are really struggling. Yeah, struggling in the uh, beginning of races because yeah, we uh, we we have good acceleration, but uh, yeah, it's just missing out on top speed on this car. Now the tires are slowly getting up uh, to temperature, and we are pretty close behind Grundstra at the moment. Three tenths and uh, a nine tenths gap to Wycombs. So this was the first lap of the race. Um, yeah, pretty pretty clean, I have to say. I think there were no major incidents in turn one, but uh, they 
there was an incident uh, before the race in the formation. I think Dinda did something strange, and then the car in front of AJ, um, yeah, I don't know how to call it. He just uh, broke in the formation, and then uh, AJ couldn't avoid him. And we are having a slide uh, <laughs> a big slide in no, into the braking zone of turn two at the moment. And you can see Y comes behind me. It was about one second before that corner, and now on the straight, he's gaining a lot. Although we are the only car in the um, slipstream wow. now, and now, jumping into lap six, nothing really happened uh, at the moment. We're driving our race pace, which isn't uh, impressive yet. I did better in the social race one day before. There, it was possible for me to drive, uh, yeah, really low 13s for the whole uh, first half of the races. Also, I didn't mention it yet. Um, for us, uh, this was a no stopper. So, in practice, I decided, or Wycombs and me decided, uh, that it would be smart to do a, a zero stop because. Um, in the end, the tires last pretty long, although having nothing on the indicator in the game. But uh, yeah, in the telemetries, you could see they yeah didn't really broke down that much. And now uh, we are losing uh, slightly contact to the cars in front, but also Y comes behind me with a similar ca gap as uh, the gap from Gronstra to myself, and now. There's something happening in front of us. I think Klaassen's out broke himself and uh, nudged into Kanuma, who lost two positions. And now we are really, really close behind them. So I don't know what happened there. I think Klaassen should give the position back, but he decided against it. And I think there's a car going white, which is Klaassen's, so... We need to be really careful here. Now up to P5, overtaking Klaassens, and now right behind Kanuma. He's breaking really, really late. I think he missed uh, yeah, his apex slightly. But there's no chance to get by. I tried it, but uh, yeah, there was just not the space. I mean, I have to overtake him in the corners, because on the straight there will be no chance. And you can see it right now. We have a better exit than him. And now we are right behind him, and as you can see, there's no chance on getting past him. He even pulls out a gap, although we are the only car again who has a slipstream. So, and there's Y comes behind me, really, really close, so he catched up as well. But, yeah, he has no chance uh, in our breaking oh, ourselves, and uh, he even gets wide. So now class and spec at P6. And really bad turn two from our side. And now Kanuma is pulling the gap uh, to back to one second again. You can see it uh, increasing on the indicator at the one bottom more. left. Yeah, and there's nothing we can do. Then you wouldn't know what to do, Bransky. So, quite interesting part of the race at the moment. Uh, of course, this track is pretty uh, thin, and uh, yeah, yeah, you can't really drive side by side through many corners. So, especially not through uh, the carousel, and um, yeah, because of that, uh, there isn't really much. Uh, um, there aren't really much possibilities to battle um, with each other. There are just some um, long straights where you can overtake, but uh, our car isn't performing well enough. I think I had a slight uh, too much on my rear wing, slightly too much downforce. I had a zero and, uh, I don't know, zero and two or zero and three. And I think I was the slowest car um, in the f on the f on the straights. Uh, by quite some margin, and now we are doing a mistake, but uh, Klaassen's, uh, yeah, hasn't a chance as we 
uh, yeah, drive a similar line to Kanuma uh, the lap before, so he can't get side by side, but now I think he has slipstream and I don't really have lots of that. And I think he had pretty low downforce on his Z4 as well, so there he comes, closing the gap and now trying to do a move on me, going on my inside. And there's a breaking point for turn one. Still side by side into this first corner, we leave him plenty of room. And he does it with us as well, he's on our inside. And he's still there, and there he gives us a slight bump, but I think it's okay, I mean it's raining and uh, GT racing is always, uh, yeah, it's always allowed to rub uh, with your um, enemies, so the enemy sees not my enemy but uh, you are allowed to have slight contact in GT racing uh, yeah, it's not a uh, formal racing formula racing so down P6 again and now we are jumping to lap 12 uh, yeah Carlsen's had a really impressive pace he even went up to P3 I think so we are in P6 right now and now we will see our quickest lap of the race I comes pretty close behind me as well, just 9 tenths, and you can see on the straight there's no chance, Kanuma's already gone. So, yeah, we are trying to um, yeah stay in P6 at the moment, defend from Y comes. We had pretty similar tire wear, so I think I even had uh, slightly better tire wear, so I think we should be fine for the moment. Although the Bentley, I think the most powerful car besides the um, Mercedes AMG GT3, um, yeah, but we are good enough in turn one and two in, in the middle sector to keep the gap uh, big enough so that he has no chance to overtake me. You can see 1.9 seconds to Kanuma in front and 8 tenths to Wycombs and we will see how this uh, yeah in the end of sector 2 as now comes the strong part of uh, this track for our car mechanical grip um, yeah is needed in these corners especially in the carousel so this is where we should gain and this time we are actually taking it pretty nicely Shifting down to second gear and now getting up to the inside curb to have a good traction. And you can see already closed uh, half a second on Kanuma in front and even more in this kink. Why comes again losing half a second on me? So I'm really strong in the middle sector, but losing out in the first and third sector. And the third, not really, but especially in the first. As we had a pretty poor corner there. It's not always easy in, easy in the rain. And the last two corners always, um, yeah, working on the exit because, yeah, it's not really important to take a high corner speed. Um, yeah, the long straight is much more important than the corner. So we are focusing on the exit. And the gap is big enough to Wycombs again. Everything over one second is big enough. And that was our fastest lap of the race, as from now on the car gets lighter with fuel, but also tires are getting worse and worse. So almost halfway uh, through the race and um, I'm really happy, as well as we are now in P5 because Tony R pitted, he decided to pit, I don't know why, just a... Uh, strategy error from his side. So we are up to P5 and uh, that's a gifted position for the cars in front of me and behind me as he was in P2. And now we are already jumping into the last lap of the race. Um, yeah, Tony R decided to pit and you lose about 40 seconds and he thought the tires would just yeah break down and get worse and worse but actually you can see I have nothing in the indicator on the front left since lap 21 and I'm still driving in the 14s and yeah he had to gain about three seconds per lap so that it was it would have been possible for him to um, catch up to us again but uh, yeah he drove uh, two 12s and uh, 
also had tra a, a lot of traffic so there was no chance for him to get back up the field I think he finished outside the top 10 as well so um, yeah the zero stops that strategy was uh, the right decision for sure and you can see the gap to Kanuma increased and the gap to Wycombs increased so yeah it was just a uh, time trialing around the track for me you can see we are what much more patient in this kink and now the last time into this part of the track again missing the apex slightly but nothing to worry, uh, worry about and now into the carousel for the last time in this race again trying to get close to the inside curb and then have, having a good exit on this short straight and now into the kink again always leaving a little gap to the curb so we have a little bit of a buffer and I think we were really really quick, quick in the slab we closed the gap to Kanuma down to one and a half seconds so we almost gained uh, two seconds in the middle sector and uh, to Wycombs as well I think he just dropped off because there was no car behind him so really impressive and uh, yeah this is just a project car spark that he's in 8th and we are in ninth. that are all lap lapped cars behind Kaki and betw uh, yeah, be between Kaki and uh, myself so we are finishing in P5 and that's really re a really really good result for us yeah finally a clean race for us and Kaki winning in the end 10 seconds in front of Klaassen who really had a impressive pace and then Gronstruff um, on the last step of the podium in P3 Kanuma in P4 me in P5 just one second behind Kanuma and uh, yeah 23 points for us in the championship Wycombs in P6 Dinda S in P7 Ramibu in P8 Rhaegor in P9 and Puff Pirate in P10 and um, yeah to the championship standings I'm in P20 at the moment uh, but uh, yeah we joined late so it's, it isn't really important where we are at the moment uh, yeah we will have a closer look towards the end of the season as Tipple is in P11 Tony are in P12 so yeah he lost out big time uh, because of the stop Centro in P13 first points of the season for him Blue Red in P14 Andrex uh, yeah P15, still some points for him. Nostra gets the last point, plays in P16, and then Maisie, Fred, a Silver Arrow, and Martin Vanderband rounding out the field. And Hideaki today, AJ, all, um, yeah, did not finish. And that's it for this race. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely are really, really happy with the result. And um, although we hadn't close battles like in Brno in the first few laps but this was fun as well for me driving and I hope you enjoyed as well and see you next time around Dubai bye bye